Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. Is it possible for you to control your future? That is the message that is the second part of a future series of four parts. What a question. Is it possible for you to control your own future? There would be those who say it's a dumb question. It's a dumb question because the future isn't here yet. How can you control something that hasn't happened? And then we return to that which we have told you many times before. And that statement we've made, we've made so many times before starts to align with some of the higher thinking physicists of today. Time is a construct. It's variable. It's linear for you. But the truth is, in a multidimensional word, one word, it all exists together. That's the word, together. Past, present, future are one thing existing together. That's a multidimensional concept. That's not the one that you received or that you live with. And we're aware of that. So it's a puzzling thing, is it not for you? The whole idea that, that time may exist all together in one now also is puzzling. Don't try to figure it out. Instead, let's give the answer to the question that I just gave. Is it possible for you to control your future? The answer is yes. Perhaps not in the way you thought. I want to paint a picture for you. A picture that is especially poignant for Americans. I want to take you back to a terrible day, an awful day. But I have to show you something, miracles within that day. The day that the planes hit the towers, you all know what I'm talking about. All of these years removed from that, the stories began to come out. Not exactly the, the stories that what happened around the towers or, or, or in the towers or anything like that. No, it was about those who who are not in the towers, who should have been. Story after story. They varied slightly, but they all had one theme. Something kept them from going to work that day. And if you start looking at the stories or you to interview them, they would go like this. I am always a punctual person. I pride myself on being at work on time. I have to get through the, the New York traffic or, or take the, the taxis or whatever or the, or the tubes to get there on time, and I do. I'm proud of that. But this day, well, I just fooled around a little bit too much in the kitchen. And uh, <laughs> I had to clean something I hadn't I necessarily thought I needed to clean before. And I, I knew it would make me late, but I thought that that's okay today. I just needed to do it. It's so unlike me. And then I didn't go when I started watching the television. I missed it. And to this day, I know there was an angel on my shoulder, perhaps, or I sensed something, perhaps, but it's so unlike me. I didn't go. Others will tell very interesting stories of what kept them away that day from walking into death. They would tell you, well, I work on one of the floors. It was above the, the crash. I wouldn't have made it anyway. They wouldn't have been here. But something kept them away from that. Well, I had to do this or that, and it's a bit unlike me, but I chose to do that. One would say, I took a sick day, and I don't even know why I wasn't sick. I don't know why. It's just something about it that, that said, don't go. So here is the question for all of you. How could they sense something that hadn't happened yet? Ah, do you think it's possible that the future does at some level, the energies of it exist in the now? And that perhaps if you're tuned into that through a magic word, I'll give you in a minute, that you can sense 
what might be coming immediately and dodge the bullet. And what is that magic word? Some of you are way ahead of me. Intuition. Is it possible to develop a higher intuitive power that is a multidimensionality itself that allows you to sense a little of what's coming. There are those who will tell you that they're driving along in their car and they think they must stop for a moment on the side of the road. And those with him, with him, perhaps their children, mom, why are you stopping? What are we doing? And mom, if you had to answer that, you'd say, I don't know, honey. I'm just stopping for a moment. And then when you drive forward yet again, when it's safe, you see that what you missed was a giant accident. You would have been in it. How many of you moms have had that happen? I'm seeing hands raised. You just told the future, didn't you? You just controlled, controlled your own future because you're alive. That is controlling your future through intuition. That is how it's done. How does one develop an intuition, a power, that had the ability to sense the future? If you ask that of anyone, a friend or whatever, they say, what are you talking about? What are, you, are you crazy? And I want to tell you, dear ones, that I give you examples of those who have done it. And I'm also telling you that your intuition was designed to keep you out of trouble. Your intuition was designed for you to pick up things. The mother who is asleep in the bedroom wakes up and has an intuitive thought that the infant who is supposed to be asleep needs her. She gets up and walks into the room and finds she's right. The infant is tangled up in a sheet or something and is very uncomfortable. She corrects it and goes back to bed. Thank you, God. What just happened? That is inbred in every mother. That is an intuition that allows you to sense something that is not necessarily happening right there with you. That same intuition is available to sense what might be happening next for you. We have given you pieces and parts of this information for a very long time. I want my partner and his partner, that is the Lee and Monica, to put together a course that would help you to hone your intuitive skills as a light worker, as an old soul, and help you with these senses. And it's not just to sense what's coming, dear ones. It's to sense who you are. It's to sense the angels in the room. Think of that. Is it possible for you to control your future? Now we get into the power of affirmations and positive thinking, and they're related. What if your future consisted of a road never traveled, because you haven't been there yet. But what if I told you that you had a crew who could work on that road so that when you got there, it'd be smooth? <laughs> Welcome to affirmations. Energy, consciousness that goes in front of you and paves the road so that your future is controllable and you just did it. It's smoother than it would have been if you hadn't done it. That is an absolute multidimensional tool using the concept of everything being in the now, past, present, future. If your future is in the now, you can work with it. Did you get that? If your future is really in the now, you can work with it. To the extent of working in 4D, you can work with it. You can use the affirmations. You can use that which is yours 
to hone the intuition to help you to put in front of you a smoother road. Dear Spirit, you might say, today I see all that is before me smoother than it would have been. I give gratitude for what is going to happen. I put in front of me being at the right place at the right time. Dear angels around me, help me through the day. Help me to turn left when I should and right when I should and not to walk into inappropriate areas of negativity. Thank you. This is your power. <laughs> this is your legacy. Yes, you can control your future. These are the things that I have been teaching for 34 years. But interestingly enough, they're only starting to be listened to now. Listened to in an actionable way. Listened to with an eye to, yeah, I can do that. Instead of it's impossible or it's for masters only. Do you see what's going on on this planet? There are tools that are coming to you you've never had before. The biggest enhanced intuition. What if you had an intuition where you could look at someone on the television who is wanting to be perhaps elected to some post and you could tell whether they were truthful or not? What if that was within your grasp? Don't you think that might make a difference for the planet? Because it wouldn't just be you. It would be millions of old souls. It would be a human race which was starting to have a far better intuitive idea of who to elect for what post. That would change everything. Can you control your future as a group, as individuals? through enhanced intuition, through the idea that a multidimensionality exists now that can help you in the future, an allowance for these things for you? That's the answer. I am Cryon. I am in love with humanity. Humanity is evolving, dear ones. Light is here. And so it is. Hi everyone, the short crying channeling you just watched, it's a small portion of a much larger weekly show called Healing Wednesday. Interested? I invite you to find out more at cryingmasters.com slash hw.